Hi there, <clears throat> this is Kim Weimar from Happy Days Coaching and this is probably one of the most difficult videos I've ever had to make and what makes it so difficult is that last month I lost my mother my mum passed away and I've never felt so hurt in all my life I've never experienced real strong grief the way I'm feeling right now and I always talk about negative emotions but but grief is something totally different like we because we have a choice to feel negative emotions and obviously you can class grief as a negative emotion because you feel low, your energy is low, your vibration is low, but it's totally different to choosing how to feel. It's totally different to, um, you know, having a reason to feel angry or negative or having reasons to feel all the negative emotions that I always talk about, you know, the negative emotions that lots of lots of us have um, that that are can be programmed into us uh, from our upbringing you know that we need to have an awareness of um, this is a difficult video I really wanted to make a video about this and express how I'm feeling because maybe it might help other people but if you're close to your parents if you're close to your mother especially you know the woman who brought you into this world the woman who you was born from you know in to experience this this journey this i believe it's a spiritual journey grief i i i'm probably a little bit mixed up with what i'm saying here but grief is a whole new emotion and i don't wish it on anybody it doesn't feel good it's upsetting, it's uncomfortable, it's sad, you know, it's, it's a terrible feeling. And I don't know how long it's going to last because it was my mum, you know. And I was very close to my mum. And I told my mum I loved her every single day. You know, my mum passed of a heart attack, actually, because she had a massive heart. She had a really big heart, my mum, and she passed away from a heart attack. Now, for those who are on their spiritual journey, okay, um, if you are, it's, I've, I've found that it's really helpful to, to think in a spiritual way, to learn spirituality. I find that it's really helped me. Because in my belief system, from what I've been learning and what I've been listening to and who I've been listening to, from my experience, um, listening to Dolores Cannon, listening to Wayne Dyer, listening to all the spiritual speakers, from, you know, from my experience, my mum's always with me, even if I can't see her, even if I can't tell her I love her, because I did tell her every single day for years and years whether it was via messaging, um, over the phone, over WhatsApp, leaving her messages, you know, voicemails. I told my mum every day. And I started to do that several years ago once I started my, my spiritual journey because I knew that one day I would have to experience this, you know, this feeling, this grief. And it's helped me and I've learned as I said from the spiritual teachers I've learned that she's always with me because everything is energy and energy cannot be destroyed okay we move through things so I know that I am connected with my mum through energy because everything is energy and we all have that connection I can feel my mum I know she's with me and I'm thinking about her all the time and I see all of the signs that my mum's with me and that's because it's in my belief system okay and that gives me some sort of calmness to help me to deal 
with this 3D matrix life that we're actually in now, that we, you know, spiritually speaking, that we chose to come and experience, trying to remember that we, we had karmas to go through and, and learn from these karmas. I know I've had to learn through karma, okay? But I also have learned to love more, I've learned forgiveness, and I've learned kindness. And I found that that's really helped me to get through this time of grief by losing my mum. I feel lonely, I feel really lonely, even when people are around me. And what else keeps me going is my own children. I've got my two grown-up children. I've got lots of nephews and nieces. I've still got my dad, bless him, thank goodness. I've still got my lovely dad. Okay, and through friends and through connections and through media, all different platforms, that's helped me to, you know, get myself up out of bed in the morning and carry on, even though I miss my mum so much, so dearly. I just wanted to say that I, this is the most difficult video I've had to make and I've kept myself strong because I believe in spirituality and I believe I will meet my mum again when it's my turn. I believe I've still got things to learn, I've still got knowledge to pass on, I've, you know, I've still got teachings to help other people with the positivity. Even though I'm feel, I feel sad and my energy vibration is low, I'm still very positive and that will never stop and that will never end, okay? Because it will help you get through your life, whatever you're going through. Being positive will help you through your life. And life is not meant to be a straight journey, going well every single day, all of the time. Life is like a roller coaster and it will go up and down and we will experience different things that are negative and challenging. But we will get through it if we've just got that positivity in our minds, if we've just got that positive mindset. And that is what I'm here for. As I said, my vibration is low. It will go back up. I will work on um, getting my vibration back up and it will take time. I don't know how long it will take, but I know I will get there because that's what my mum would have wanted me to do. That is what my mum wants me to do, to help humanity, to help other people. Okay, so as I said, I've always been a doubting person, doubted everything. I'd always been unconfident and I haven't lost my confidence. I'd always been negative, but now I'm very positive. And I know that everything's gonna work out fine if I keep my mindset on the positive. So if you feel that you need any more positivity in your life, if you want to overcome any doubts, if you want to grow your confidence, then go to kimweimer.com and grab your free PDF download on gaining more confidence and overcome, overcoming self-doubt. So I want to send you lots of love. Be as loving as you can. Talk to your loved ones. Contact people that you haven't seen for a while. You know, have a chat with them. Do not take life for granted because things can happen at the flick of a switch unknowingly losing my mum was shocking and it was sudden okay so don't take people for granted in your life love as many as you can be as kind to many you know as many people as you can because it really helps with healing what you give out will come back to you it's all about loving it's all about kindness it's all about paying it forward and helping others where you can and I just want to say that I love you and I will speak to you soon. Okay, stay positive. I love you lots, love and light. This is Kim Wan, Happy Days Coaching. Have a lovely day and keep on keeping on, never give up. Okay, take care, bye bye.